My name's Ashantin and I make a lot of vintage story tutorials. This tutorial is about how to smelt and to forge meteoric iron. I'm starting the tutorial with the assumption that you have found iron because if you wish to forge meteoric iron you need an iron anvil. You can actually forge and manipulate iron on a tier 2 anvil but meteoric iron needs this three tier 3 anvil. Now to make one of these anvils it will take you 10 iron ingots and borax. So although you can smelt meteoric iron before you have this anvil you can't work it until you have this anvil. So what do we mean by meteoric iron? I'm sure if you're watching this you've found some and we know that when you are running around, you will find on the surface either swavite stones or these loose meteoric iron pieces. And when you dig down through the swavite, you tend to find these beautiful chunks of meteoric iron. You will need an iron pickaxe to get these out of the ground. When you hit them with an iron pickaxe, you get the loose meteoric iron pieces. And when you smelt these pieces, this is what a meteoric iron ingot looks like. Now, to smelt them, you smelt them as you would do iron normally in a bloomery. Let's just get some pieces out. And also we will need some fuel. Let's use black coal. You can use charcoal. So... First of all, a normal bloomery, and you need only two of these iron meteorite pieces for an ingot. Meteoric iron is incredibly dense in real life, and this carries through into the vintage story. Now, I've tried to look at the maximum number per bloomery, I can't find it on either the wiki or the help. I know that the maximum number of ingots that you can make in a bloomery is normally six. So I'm going to assume that six is the number we can make here. So that is 12 iron pieces. And we know that it's one piece of fuel per ingot. So we will need six. Okay, so it's basically one is to two. As normal, you would pop your iron in the bloomery, pop your black coal in, and then light it. And then that will take the normal amount to smelt. Now in this bloomery, I set this off yesterday so we already have some meteoric iron ingots. Now when you break the bloomery, what you will notice is that we have six ingots because I put in the same proportion as I've just put in. But what you will notice is that you don't get iron bloom. This is very pure iron. It doesn't have the impurities of iron bloom. So we can immediately have these ingots and we can forge them straight away. So if we take one of these and let's use some black coal, why not? We seem to have it on us. Uh, let's heat it up as normal. Pop that in, light it, so I've, if you found far clay and you find loose meteoric iron bits on the surface, you can process these before you even have an anvil and you can store them as ingots. Right, our ingot is hot enough, let's pop it on the anvil and I want to make a long blade. Now let's take our hammer 
and you will notice I am using just a copper hammer and it's perfectly happy to take the copper hammer. So we'll just pop this down. Very, very pale yellow colour. It's quite amazing. So provided you have the iron anvil, you have no need to have an iron hammer or indeed anything higher than a copper hammer, which is very helpful. There we go. F. Let's knock these out. And there we have it, a meteoric iron long blade head. Now you have your long blade, we can put a stick with it and look at that, what a gorgeous sword. I thought it would be good to do a comparison of iron and meteoric iron. So let's have a look at these two swords. If we have a look at the iron long blade, the durability is 1062, it's tool tier 4. The meteoric iron long blade is tool tier 4, but its durability is 1375. Now the attack power of the iron long blade is minus 5 HP. The attack power of the meteoric iron blade is minus 5.3. Attack tier 4, both of them. Attack range is the same. So basically, the attack power and the durability are where the difference lies. So very, very good blades, these meteoric long blades. And of course, they look, I think, very, very good indeed. Let's pop that up on a rack. Then we can see what it looks like. Splendid. Look at it. It's quite unusual colour, isn't it, with the sort of grey and the yellow. But it's a very, very simple process. It's different from the iron in what you need, particularly the anvil. It's different in the amount of pieces of meteoric iron you need for an ingot. But after that, it's pretty straightforward. I hope you enjoy your meteoric iron. Bye bye.